to my channel. My name is Rachel Banks, and I plan to bring you all things beauty. Okay, guys, I am just relaxing in my front room, wanted to do a chit-chat with you guys, um, kind of like get to know me a little bit. Um, I don't have many videos just about who I really am, so I decided just to get on here and tell you who I really am. Just a little chit chat, and I think I want to do like chit chat videos more often, like maybe at least once or twice a week. Um, in addition to all the all things beauty videos that I do plan to share. Um, but before I get into um, information about myself, let me talk about these nails. These nails are still looking good, and it's been over a week. Yes, these are my Dollar Tree nails. Not one of them popped off. These nails are still very much intact, um, and I used the super glue that I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar as well. So make sure you check out that video. I'm, like, so here for these Dollar Tree nails. Like, it's crazy how good they still look. In fact, these look better, in my opinion, than some of the... Uh, <laughs> when i used to go to the shop like i'm so here for these dollar tree nails like they look really really good and they fit my um pudgy fat fingers so definitely here for these dollar tree nails um but anyways um yeah just a little bit about myself so you all know i love gardening from my other videos and probably by the intro um i love gardening i love cooking um I love shopping, I love home decor, I love, absolutely love makeup, um, just, I have a lot of, you know, things that I absolutely love, but those are, like, the ones that, like, are in my heart, like, gardening, makeup, cooking, things like that, it's just things that I really absolutely love to do, shopping, okay, especially for, like, home decor, more for home decor than anything else, I like shopping for clothes, but I love shopping for home decor, I like to browse, home decor like sometimes i'm not even in there wanting to like get anything or don't have the budget to get anything but i like to browse and get ideas like recently i got this ikea magazine and i have just been picking it up my husband's like okay that's relaxing to you and i'm like yes i like browsing through it and getting like ideas because it's a few little pieces that i still want to add to like my front room and dining room to kind of complete them and I do plan to do like a before, original, original before we start doing some renovations um, to our home, where it is now and what I plan to do and then start including you guys in the decorating as well as sharing like some home decor ideas that I have because you know, you always want to change things up. So that's in the pipeline. So that'll be coming soon. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's a little bit about me, but um, I also told you guys about this weight loss journey that I'm on. Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> okay. Um, so, first of all, I have been on this weight loss journey since, like, forever. Um, I have always been pretty much like a plus-size um, girl. Back in the day, as with most people, when you're a little younger, it's not so much plus-size. It's kind of like just thick, you know, like shapely or whatever. But since I had my daughter... Honey, I ain't bounced back at all. I think I bounced back just a little bit, but then I started back eating crazy. Like, just, I, I can't eat like I did when I was younger. Like, period. If I look at something that's a little bit fattening, it's like adding 10 pounds to me. Like, it's crazy. I remember at one point, my husband was like, well, just work out. Like, sir, if it was that simple, everybody would be fit, okay? Because uh, <laughs> he's the type that he works out for two days just like most men two days he's like cut up like excuse me sir i need some of that i need a little bit of your metabolism a little bit of those genes okay um but anyways uh he has saw me like working out struggling doing yoga uh walking doing all sorts of like crazy workouts um and he saw how hard it was like i'm like sweating and like doing it for like hours and he do like a couple of push-ups and he's like fit okay but anyways back to this weight loss journey so um let me back up a little bit on who i am so i went to school um and graduated with my degree in chemistry um and i was a chemist for about five to six years and then um mo more recently became um a quality engineer um and then <laughs> even more recently i just got let go of my job and it wasn't anything that i had done wrong it was um some 
transitions that the, that the company that I worked for had to do. Um, and part of those transitions included letting some people go. And I was one of those people because I was so new there. Um, so I still have a very good relationship with a lot of the people that I worked with at both of the companies, um, big companies that I've been with. So I've been with two big companies in my life. Um, but anyways, I just recently got let go in May. Um, before that, me and one of the ladies, I'm calling her my girlfriend because she was my girlfriend, okay, at work. Um, and still now, we still chit-chat or whatever. Um, me and her had started doing, um, keeping each other accountable for the most part, okay? So, like, for example, making sure we both stay hydrated because that was one of the issues, um, that I know I was dealing with outside of me needing to lose weight was staying hydrated because of the type of work that we did. Um, uh, we would get so wrapped up in it that a lot of times we would forget to take a break and actually go drink some water even though we had the positions where we could bring water to our desk just taking a break to drink the water that's at our desk and then going back and refilling whatever container we were drinking our water out of like that's how caught up in the work we were um and so we would we would force each other to like stop drink drink your water okay drink the water you have right here and then let's go refill those containers so that we can stay more hydrated um which helped um uh, with the breakage in my hair because i wasn't drinking the water that i should especially when i traveled um i traveled a lot because as a quality engineer i also did a lot of auditing um and the uh, auditing i I did a lot of the suppliers for the company that I worked for. So that included a lot of travel. And I'm like one of those people that don't like public restrooms. So <laughs> I wouldn't drink water because I wouldn't want to have to use the restroom while I was on my trip. So I was I always told myself when I got to my hotel, I would drink water. But of course, by the time I got to my hotel, for most of my trips, I was a little worn out, wanting to get in bed, drink a little bit of water, but then like getting up and getting ready for an audit. And then... um if any of you are auditors or have been audited, you know that auditing sometimes can be an all-day thing. You don't necessarily always um, drink water as you're going. So that's another. So it's like a couple of days of dehydration just in that. So, and then you're right back on the plane. Because I was always the type, whenever I travel for um, business at both of the companies that I worked for, I'm the type of person, um, as soon as I can get back home, I'm trying to get back home. I'm not trying to use my um, travel for the most part as vacation. Because then I'm like missing my husband. I'm missing the kids. So, I'm usually like always on the go trying to get back home. So, it just, it messes with your hydration. Okay. And then, so that was a part of the um, journey I was on, was getting back hydrated and then eating more healthy items. So when I traveled, of course, because I was traveling on business, I would eat some of the best foods. Um, and sometimes those good foods were not, was not always healthy. So I did gain a little bit of weight when I started this job at this last company. And even the company I worked with before, um, when I was pregnant with my daughter, I gained a significantly large amount of weight while I was pregnant because I was on this special project and they fed me every single day and it was what I wanted. So you ask a pregnant woman <laughs> what they want from specific restaurants, it just was bad. Like the cravings overcame my logic and how I thought about the um, consequences of me eating so much. So um, with that being said, and I was, like, addicted to crazy stuff when I was pregnant with my daughter. Like, potatoes, just things that I normally didn't eat or whatever. Um, so, I'm not to blame it all on the pregnancy. Because um, afterwards, I still was, like, eating crazy. Um, but anyways, we're here now. Um, and so, after I had lost my job, I had started, like, eating back healthy. Um, you know, taking more time out. I should have been working out every single day. I'm not going to say I've been working out every single day. So I've been eating more healthy items. So I was like going to Jewels. They had cherries like crazy sales, getting cherries, getting um, grapes, like making that like my sweets because I, I do crave sweets every so often. So I was eating my grapes. I was eating my cherries, watermelon. Um, and then Trader Joe's has an amazing deal on frozen vegetables as well as fresh vegetables. So I was going there. So I was eating mostly like baked chicken, fresh vegetables, cherries, strawberries, um, grapes, watermelon, things like that. And then I had my baked chicken, just getting super, super hydrated, drinking nothing but water like I normally, reducing the amount of wine because I'm the type of woman that will, you know, I don't mind a glass of wine a night, okay, or maybe one or two. 
two glasses of wine a night. Um, so I definitely reduced um, the wine that I was drinking. Um, but more recently, I kind of jumped off the bandwagon because I kind of started getting into like vacation mode where I'm like, um, eating, um, just doing stuff, just not necessarily just staying within the, um, the lines, you know, like, okay, this is what you should be eating. I'm like eating, you know, all sorts of stuff. So I need to definitely get, get back in on track. Okay. Um, come August 1st. Okay. So I had got off track in July. Okay. June, I did pretty good was eating really good um and you probably can see even a difference in my face throughout the videos um because that's usually where i gain all of my weight in my face no i gain weight all over but you usually can see when i started to lose weight and when i gain weight like in my face and my neck first um but anyways <laughs> yeah because i gain weight all over okay um anyways in july i had went like into vacation mode okay so I said, come August 1st, I'm going to get back into normal mode. A, I'm going to um, eat more healthy. I am going to um, focus on whatever businesses I'm trying to pursue, like put a lot of energy into it. Um, and then just start getting back organized and um, documenting things so that things are not forgotten. Just getting back on track, um, getting the kids prepared for school because that's coming up pretty good, uh, pretty quick. Okay, come August 1st. This girl is still on vacation mode. I'm like going to have to get my life in order. So what I told myself, and I am going to hold myself accountable because my husband is going on vacation starting this week and i know it's gonna be a mess because me and him both like to eat okay just unfortunately i gain all the pounds he still looks good okay not saying that i don't look good okay but you get what i'm saying like he he can easily lose whatever weight he may gain uh whereas i'm like over here struggling my whole entire life um so I know this week is not going to be a week of, like, eating healthy. I'm going to try to eat healthy as much as possible, but I know it's not going to be that sort of week because my husband is going to be on vacation. So, when the kids go back to school and we have set schedules back in place, and I take my little mama to her grandparents' house uh, while the kids are in school so I can take care of business. I need some time to myself so I can take care of some business. When I do that, I know I will be able to stay within the lines because everything will be back organized. Whereas right now, it's kind of like a free for all. You know, like my mind, I can't wrap my mind around structure because everything is just a free for all. There's no set schedules. Everybody is pretty much doing what they want. Um, to a certain degree because you know, it's just that vacation time letting the kids get a little bit more energy out um, While they still can before school starts back um, And then now we're starting to kind of like pull the ropes on a few things um, just to get them prepared like okay Y'all gotta get y'all math prepared school is starting back pretty darn quick um, So definitely starting to do that, but even for myself, I just need to get myself like slowly start back transitioning to like a, a regular <laughs> normal lifestyle like can't be in vacation mode forever. So, that's where I am today um, with my weight loss journey. I am jumping back on track. Definitely, when the kids go back to school, I am going to try to eat as healthy as I can. <laughs> I mean, I know I can I can say no to certain things, but I mean, my husband's going to be on vacation, so I know we're going to be enjoying um, some foods because we're both foodies. We like to eat, um, and we like to try new things. So, that's just us. And we can always um, opt and get the healthier option, but for the most part, we usually don't. We like to try whatever is appealing to our eyes and appealing to our palates um so that'll probably be this week and then after that i'll probably try to get back on track uh, with the weight loss journey so i will let you know how i am doing with the weight loss journey so when the kids start back to school august 21st i think i'm gonna do like um inches i'm gonna see how many inches i lose a month and we'll we'll follow it like that and um we'll see how it works out so let's that's what i plan on doing as far as sharing the all things beauty weight loss journey um part of the videos is um doing weight loss by inches inches because not all the time can you do it by weight because when you start to work out and stuff sometimes you gain muscle so that can be um 
it can make you feel bad if you gain weight, but you may not have necessarily gained fat. You could be gaining muscles and losing fat. And, of course, muscles weigh more than fat. Um, so that will be happening soon as well. Like I said, with the, um, home decor, um, I love home decor. So I plan on sharing some of those videos. Definitely going to start back looking for, um, some jobs or whatnot. So I probably will share a few of those experiences, um, with you guys, um, maybe like some, um, makeup looks for job interviews because uh, I'm a very neutral girl when I go on a job I almost want to look like I have on no no makeup at all. So I'll go through some quick um, No makeup looks for job interviews and some of the tips that I have um, Or some of the um, experience that I have with interviewing and things like that to kind of like relax you um commonly asked questions how i would answer them um so just little things like that i'll probably share too on this channel um so that's a little bit of what's going on in my life um so yeah the kids will be starting back school soon so i'm super super excited about that because these kids crazy they like all over the place um i don't know if they're super excited because their dad is going to be off this week or what but it's like if you don't leave my wig mannequin head and i know it has to do with what they've seen on youtube they're like so excited over these wig mannequin heads and i'm gonna end up having to go get me more so that they can stop taking my wigs off and throwing them somewhere like on my bed or in my um uh, where i keep them then he's like toss them on the shelf i want to keep it on the head because these are synthetic wigs so i don't want them to like get um tangled up or whatever and i don't think my boys the girls are, but I don't think my boys are, like, taking my wigs as seriously as I would want them to. Um, I think they think it's for fun. So, like, while my husband is on vacation, we were supposed to go to Great America, but we decided to go to Santa's Village because um, the... We didn't want to leave our toddler out. So initially we was like, okay, we'll go to Great America and we'll take her to her grandmother's house, our uh, grandparents' house, um... But then we decided it was like we don't want to have a summer like family outing like thing and not include her, you know, like it, you know, leave her out. So we decided to go to Santa's Village. But anyways, when we originally was wanting to go to Great America, this is my son. Um, mom, how are you wearing your hair? Why? Are you wearing your wig? Why? Do you want to be famous? What do you mean? Do you want somebody to tape you when your wig flies off? <laughs> Boy, if you, don't, if you don't get away from me, please, right now, get away from me. You're so crazy. You're talking about why your wig gonna fly <laughs> if you scream. Somebody else gonna be screaming because your wig gonna hit them in the eye. I was like, okay. But it's funny, though, because I was, like, laughing because I can imagine, like, me screaming for my life. My wig is flying off, smacking somebody in the head. They probably think it's some sort of animal. They're screaming <laughs> more like it would have just been a crazy situation. That's why I'm saying, boy, I ain't getting on none of them rats anyway. I ain't about to risk my life in no great America. I'm not one of them people. I'm not, I'm not a, a roller coaster girl, so... You ain't have to worry about that anyway. I wasn't going to be, uh, I ain't had to secure the wig because the wig wasn't going to fly off. I wasn't getting on no rags with a wig would have flew off. Um, but we decided to go to Santa's Village, so I I hope I don't have to worry about my wig flying off. If it is one of them ra uh, rides where the wig can possibly come off, take this look off and stick it in my purse. <laughs> get off the rack. I'm going to stick my wig back off. It's going to be so funny. My husband's going to be like, okay, I can't take you nowhere. No, you did not take your whole hair off. No, I'm joking. Um, I do plan on secure, <laughs> securing it um, before I go. If I do wear a wig, I may do like a wash and go. I was thinking about, so we're going to go to um, Santa's Village. I was thinking about the, the night before like getting up early not the night before but like the morning before getting up early doing like a wash and go style and then if in that morning i don't feel comfortable with that look because again i do have a lot of breakage i really don't want to have to do much manipulation to my hair but when we go it will be time for me to retwist anyway so it will be time for a little bit of manipulation um so I'm thinking about doing like a wash and go. And then if I'm not feeling comfortable, then I'll just throw on the wig. At least I have it as a backup. Uh, but it's funny that he said that. And then I wouldn't have to worry about anything um, with the wash and go. If it turns out right, like it'll just be my hair. I think the only thing that would be crazy is like when I get in the water rise or whatever. But I have natural hair, so it will already be as in a shrinkage state anyway. Um, so I think... 
I think I'm going to try to do a wash and go. And then again, if it doesn't work out, I'll throw a wig on. But anyway, that's crazy. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's where I am now. I'm, I'm trying to lose some pounds. And I'm definitely going to get serious um, by the time the kids go back to school. Okay, yeah, so that's where I am with this weight loss journey. Just a little bit about me. Like, okay, yeah, I graduated, got my chemistry degree, was a chemist for a while. Then jumped into quality engineering. I don't know where the next chapter is going i'm super excited um i have ideas of what i want to do but you know how life is always very unpredictable you never know which way you're going to go even if you try to force it to go in one direction so i'm super excited about that um so that's kind of like in the theme of monday starting fresh starting something new um new possibilities new opportunities um so i'm super excited about that and i can't wait for these kids to get back in school okay i can't wait for them to go back in school because they're crazy um driving me crazy um and then the gardening okay so the gardening is going like really really good so because i live in chicago and because i live as far east as you can possibly go so let me tell you about living as far east as you could possibly go when you live as far east as we live your summers are a little cooler than people who live typically on what they consider to be like the south side of Chicago and going more towards the inlands. Um, it's a little cooler as far east because you have that lake. Um, so what that means is that it's never really hot, hot enough, in my opinion, for my vegetables. Like the last couple of days we have had some extreme heat. So we've been feeling some heat too. Um, but on days when it's like a little hot then it's not that hot here um and then in the winter time it's like harsher it's a harsher winter because you get that lakeside um effect snow and just winter storm i just a bunch of stuff that comes from living close to the lake um so one benefit is is not that warm i mean it's not as hot as if you move more inland in chicago but it's it's weird because I kind of want it to be a little more warm for my vegetables, um, if that makes sense. So it took a while for my vegetables to even start producing things just because um, it's, it just hasn't really felt like summer um, until the last month, actually. So, um, and we still have like days where it's like getting down to like in the 60s, like cold at night, no air conditioner on um everybody put your covers on um and then in the daytime i think the last couple of days we just got like close to 90 which was you know um hot enough but still just wanting it to be just like consistently like in the 80s or something like that which i know most people are like okay why are you wishing for heat it's because it's so cold all the like our winters are so freaking cold and it lasts forever so sometimes i just want just a little bit of heat just a little bit of heat even though i'm not a heat person like i was sitting under the ac but i just wanted to be hot outside for my veggie babies if that makes sense but anyways so the garden is starting to really flourish now getting some tomatoes in um getting zucchinis getting stream beans well i've been getting stream beans i've been getting sugar snap peas um carrots are doing really good i think i have a few radishes out there like some surprise radishes um i have tons of like um these random tomato plants that um uh, have grown out of nowhere my black sunflowers have come up so I'm about to insert a picture of that Okay, aren't these black sunflowers like everything? I am so here for these black sunflowers. Um, and I'll link in the description the name of the sunflower just in case you're interested and want to try some out yourself. Um, I did have to restart my lettuce. So I think I'm going to have cucumbers and tomatoes and all of those things around the same time. Um, I had to restart my lettuce because my daughter had dug all my lettuce out. Okay, let's so restart my lettuce. So my tomatoes are doing good. Jalapenos are like doing the bomb.com. I'm about to have like a whole big old harvest of jalapenos. Um, the bell peppers are doing really good. Um, 
the potatoes I think are doing really good I have to do a little more research because this is the first year that I'll be growing potatoes I have some garlic in the ground that's starting to do starting to have some greenery so I think that's doing pretty good um, so all in all my vegetables are doing pretty good now the only <laughs> the only thing I'm afraid of and I know I should live in the moment and not be thinking about what may happen in the future is that um, it may start to get cold soon like why i want it to be warm just for a few more months just so i can enjoy my veggies like that's the only thing that i'm kind of like fearful of is that it's gonna start to get just a little bit cool so sometimes around halloween time it's a little cold like kids have to walk around with the jackets over their um costumes um so i'm just hoping that it stays a little warmer just because we really haven't had a hot hot summer this year um in chicago at least I haven't experienced a really hot, hot summer. Um, but anyways, hopefully you really, really enjoyed this chit chat. I know it was a lot of rambling. Um, but I plan on doing this more often, just sharing just a little bit of who I am with you guys. Um, so that when you watch my videos on all things beauty, you know where it's coming from. You know a little bit about myself. Um... I think that would be great. And then leave in the comments if you like this sort of video. I hope you all have a really uh, blessed day. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel, okay? And then let me get in closer so you can see this eyeshadow look. Isn't this pretty? Okay, so I put like a navy blue. And then it went into like a dark green. Into like this metallic green. And then I practiced my cat eye today. And I, I think I have a trick. Okay, I think I have a trick for the cat eye. And I plan on sharing that trick with you guys. I think I have a trick for the cat eye. Because the cat eye turned out pretty good. I know it's kind of sitting in my front room. So it's kind of oh, probably a little dark. Because it's gloomy outside. But I think the cat eye looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I thought this was so cute. Like the dark blue, the greens. Like I don't know. I'm just here for it. This wig. So like just everything complimented each other. In my humble opinion. Um, but anyways, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel, okay? We're going to be talking about all things beauty. And not only are we going to be talking about all things beauty from like press on wigs, me trying to lose some weight, my gardening, just all sorts of things. We're going to start having chit chats. We're going to start having conversations. This ain't going to be the last time we're going to have this chit chat, guys. Like I said, I want to do probably a chit chat once or twice a week. And it's not just going to be about myself. It's going to be about topics that I've been reading about lately. It's just going to be all things beautiful. We're going to discuss it all. It's going to be like a magazine on this channel. It's going to be like a magazine. You flip, you see something about makeup. You flip, you see like an article about something else. Like, it's just going to be all things beauty. And I'm so here for it. I'm so excited. Um, and hopefully you are too. So make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. And then to all my existing subscribers, I appreciate your support so very much. And I do want to say, I know this may not be a really, really big deal for most, but it's a big deal for me because I just started this channel, but I just reached 100 subscribers. So I'm so excited about that. Thank you everybody for your support. And I can't wait to get to the next 100 and then the next 100 and then the next 100. And we'll just keep it going. But anyways, I appreciate your support. Thank you so very much. Um, and I will talk to you also.